All right, we are back. Where I left you last time, we just got our super secret room. D, cleaning up, gonna show me some stuff. Professor, gonna teach me some stuff. But if I'm understanding correctly, we are going to be able to decorate this entire room, change the colors, hopefully add some furniture. Um, very easy to get caught up in the, uh, the designing and the decorating of this. So I may not see a whole lot. So this video very well, uh, could be just a highlight video of, uh, all the interior, uh, designer elements that I'm going to employ here. I'm going to pull up my inner interior designer here and, uh, do what I can with this room. And, um, if I don't talk a lot, I don't talk a lot. Um, and we'll just buzz right through it and we'll show you the final product. By the way, let's get started. Okay. Zeke, what you got for me? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, bubbly. Hello Kitty-ish. A cool minlit, moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. Hmm, dark and mysterious. I do like my dark rooms. Cool minlit, moonlit ambience though. I like the moon. Let's go with that. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Mm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Hmm. Oh. Oh. What's going on? I really just like the uh, moonlit darkness because it hides all the dust. Especially in Hogwarts where it's just dirty as hell all the time. Look at all that dust. See that? An even bigger space. Ooh. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This mm. is your space now. Use it wisely. Wow. I require a larger house, um, larger bank account, you know, a faster car. I require all those things, you know? So let's just have this room bring it into existence for me. In that right owl. That's a different owl than my actual owl, isn't it? So why would you be here? Are you actually my owl? What was my owl's name? I already forgot. I said something stupid like Owly or John. Mochi. Mochi it is. Hello, Mochi. Mochi, my owl. Not John. Sorry for any Johns that are out there watching it. There's a kind of a basic name that I can think of. Okay. All right. So we got the uh, moonlit ambiance, which is nice, which is lovely. Some candle lit. Okay. We got the exit here. I don't know what Deke is doing up here, but uh, just keep doing what you're doing, dude. Hmm. Go check out this other room that popped up. Okay. Nice. 
nice annexes, a little sitting area. This is this is a sitting area for conjuring up some secret pages or secret uh, plans and stuff. Is that Deke? Why are they leaning against each other so lovingly like that? And she's like stroking the back of his head. So weird. Okay. Anyways. What can we do again? Let's see, on our wheel here, we've got... Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's how I can get rid of stuff. Um, one is... Conjuring. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's the tables and everything. Um, what was the other one? Two. This is... Okay, altering the, the floors. About this room for now let's just start in here maybe that could be a different color this would be my main thing deep working hard over there um okay well let's just start with the start with the walls scientific walls botanic walls it's kind of nice quite thick gothic And you can change colors of these. I don't know what it's changing. Oh, it's changing the uh, uh, the pattern. Hmm. That's white, but it looks green because it's lit by the moon hmm no go back scientific scientific kind of cool scientific kind of cool kind of like the botanic how like the vines and stuff are growing on it gothic is very library you know trying to think do I want maybe this like a library to be like my study you know um, and then the other room could be more botanical because this is more like homey right okay let's go with the gothic style I want to change colors um, I want the green. We'll do that. So then we gotta match everything, right? So here, scientific, Gothic archway. Well, I guess it's not terrible if you have something slightly different. You know what? Focus on the walls walls first okay i'm gonna do the side walls first nice oh shit didn't mean to do that scientific gives you like pots and stuff but look at those messy drawers right and i 
do like the botanical. That's kind of nice. And Gothic gives you the... Hmm. I don't know how much I like the ribbons or, or the drapery that's on there for the Gothic. But I don't know how much the botanical... Oh, that changes the whole color of it. Let me see what that looks like. It's supposed to be green, but it's like, seriously, it's blue. It's like the color of my hair, right? That's too blue. Default. I think I like the tonic. Gives us like a giant beehive. Hmm. Gothic. That's actually not bad. I think that kind of goes with what we're doing here, but we change this to a black instead. Green's not bad, it kind of ties in with the uh, the trim piece of the lower gothic. Yeah, look at that. Okay, here. Go. That looks like it's gonna change the whole thing. That changes this. So scientific doorway. Big arch or a big um, taper uh, triangle. Okay, we'll just do black just to have it that color. And this outer piece. Civic balcony. Try to like minimize the the ribbon in here, so I don't know how much. If I just do straight scientific, I feel like there's something missing up there, you know? Oh, thanks, Deke. The real one, Deke. Okay, scientific. Botanic. Botanic would go with the upper level. Nice. Okay. 
This one is, is really gothic up there. This one now. Yeah, gothic is, then we got the cloth going one way. It's going to be a green cloth. Yes. And then same with this. There we go. Now the big piece. Scientific is cool. I like it. Goth is is nice. Two biggest pieces of drapery. Not liking the botanical, but I kind of do like the scientific, like have one scientific wall. Ugh, I don't like that. The black's not bad, what does that look like? Ceiling too. Straight dome, that's cool. Kind of greenhouse vibe, but I'm trying to see the moon, you know? That's why I wanted the moonlit. I'm afraid if I do any of this, it doesn't make any sense that it's moonlit. That's kind of cool. I think I do like the scientific ceiling. But maybe I can change. Change the trim there. But maybe we just do a black trim. Although I kind of don't like how it's... It's really light, isn't it? Maybe that's not a problem. Oh well, we'll go with the trim with black then. Sunbeam, botanic. So we got we got wood with carpet, which is cool. I kind of like that. Then all stone, which makes it feel cold, right? But you can kind of counteract that if you had if any um, uh, rugs. This is more like a tile. I feel like it's too monastery or something. Floor. That's kind of cool. Hmm. I guess I'm digging the wood though, so maybe we do the scientific on the wood. We'll see if we can change. color of it. Okay, so it's the exterior, or it's the inside trim color. Right. Right. So the wood color doesn't change, but Kind of like in the default, but we'll go with black because we got a lot of black going on in here. Okay. I'm 
right. Yeah. Digging it. Digging it. Okay. What can I conjure here? So we can make potions. Which I probably can't make everything, right? I need... So, I need to purchase pots in order to be able to... Tomes and scrolls. So I need to purchase all these things. Have access to them. Not sure how much I care about that. The botanics. All kinds of different tables. Potting tables. Fosters, chopping stations, interesting. Utility. Prescription. Loom with the ability to enhance clothing. So unlocked by completing the elf, the knapsack, and the loom. Interesting. Material finder, stays up to produces moonstones, okay. Moonstone. Uh, a bunch of refiners. So then wall hangings, which there's all kinds of different moons. So all this stuff we should be able to collect as we run through everything rugs scattered throughout world okay furniture dressing screens bookcases cabinets a lot of and a lot of these are just found throughout the world so i'm gonna have to get them as i wander decorations trophy and all kinds of other stuff scattered throughout the world like how do you find this stuff paintings okay. seating all over chairs but you can get some couches eventually tables Seasonal decorations. A Christmas tree? Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this uh, stuff available to me. But, can I change this? Yeah, I can change the color of that. Match everything that's going on in the gothic world here. Potion station here. I've got a potting station here. I don't know if I can even use this yet. Do I have any map? I do have seeds. Hit me. Okay. Basically, if I want to get into creating a lot of my own potions and stuff, then I can do that. Thing. Whoa, it is 
gigantic. Oh, it's even bigger. That's as big as it gets, though. Jeez. Can I put it over here? Let's see. Man, sir, you are ginormous. It's cool, though. See, if you're walking into the room, you got a ginormous statue there, that'd be the first thing you see. Let's see, what does a gothic look like? Hmm. Hmm. Go yeah, with the scientific. It's not where I wanted it. Seriously, where are the lights, yo? My goodness. Okay. Seriously? Well, this ain't perfect. Like, there's plenty of room right there. If I make it itty bitty. <laughs> oh, come on. Such a bull, Shikaki. this All right it's my desk yeah learn bam okay I just realized that photo there makes no sense there with that drapery This is empty over here. Something needs to go there. So I think we'll put one of those statues there. Let's see what this cat statue looks like. Definitely not as cool as the other one. I like the other one. 
I think there's some other cool statues. Like a dragon or something, too. This is cool, though. Maybe like that. How far back can I push you? Nice. Boy, sure glad I collected all that moonstone. I don't think I necessarily need this carpet here, though. Huh. The placard is facing that way though, so I feel that's that's cool looking that way, but maybe we put them at an angle. too big though his wings get in the way yeah nah, no, he's gonna have to say like that fuck it I don't feel like it needs to be any bigger. I think it definitely needs to go somewhere else. Maybe over here. So it's a little less significant. So it does draw attention away from the uh, statue. That I'm going to leave there because that's how it was decorated already. Um, got most of those photos in there too, so, let's see, here, It's better there. <clears throat> then we'll take this one. Here. Make it a big one. I wish I could slide it down a little bit though. There we go. Yes. Looking good, looking good. somewhere here I feel like maybe I put these two maybe I can center it up a little bit better here how big does this one get gigantic is what it gets I guess I can understand if it's staggered that's fine let's go with that 
But then this this one random piece back here feels weird. All by itself. So maybe I do small one there and another small one. Just the blank there. And there we go. I think they need lamps next to them. on the right like we did on the last one here bam Let's see if this one allows me to put it on the left it does sure what I would need a ginormous one for but you can't tell me that come on this totally needs like a light or something on it <sighs> please this one is the one that irritates me here I need to. I need to recenter. Center this. Is that why it's not allowing me? <laughs> this would be so useful in like moving. Imagine moving to a new apartment or a new house or something. Be wonderful. Yes. Yeah, dude, why? Oh. Is it this? Is it saying this is in the way? Oh, that's really annoying. Yeah, I bet you it's saying this platform, the rail, is in the way. Oh, so stupid. But since everything else has... And it's lame that I can't... Okay, maybe we offset. Tell me I can offset. here as a singular lighting for this statue right wonder if Feels better because at least I guess there's some symmetry. Go. All right. I 
feel like I might just have a big table right in the center here. Okay, we got lights. Potting potion. We got the rugs underneath them. I change this rug here. No, not the floor. The rug. And don't snap. That's so random, man. And then I can't get closer to that side because that stupid thing. But then that's going to drive me crazy because it's not centered. Hmm. Maybe we say fuck the rugs. You see how that lines up perfectly? And that lines up perfectly? Kind of. Not really. Shit. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys are like me, but this is going to drive me crazy if it's not centered. Okay, getting rid of it. Go away, you. You too. Go away. So nicely and perfect over there, but if I ain't got no rugs on the other ones, it's gonna dry. Uh. No rugs. No rugs for anybody. Very nice. Then you can come in here. Oh, you can add photos all up in here too. Man. This already has some seating. Got this one center rug in here. I didn't realize it can change its size. But otherwise, it's kind of a blue spot. Can change color. Do a black. Large. Try to hit center. Digging it. Okay. Yeah. Then what I'll do is like a giant table or something in the middle when I when I get it. Yeah, just like a round table. I mean obviously that's too small, but you get what I'm saying? Maybe I can make... That's not what I want though, that's like, just like a giant table that's pointless if it was there, so... 
This is actually a normal sized person table. Okay, that'll be the ho the placeholder right there. For now. Okay. Here and here. Oh, can I change this wall? I can. Corridor. Oh, look at how beautiful. Okay. Keep it consistent. The green. There we go. Matches the hallway. Okay. Then. This is definitely a different style in here, right? I mean, this is kind of cool the way it is. I kind of like my house to be similar in all aspects, right? Let's go here. Oh, that's kind of a cool balcony up top. It matches the dome piece that's in the And that's kind of a very gothic church um, atrium. I forget. Okay, I do have a big dome in here as well, though. See how it's, it's highlighting as a part of the ceiling now? Kind of weird. I feel like this makes it feel a little bit more open with that. And then, of course, we're probably just going to keep the same ceiling. Although in here, it's kind of kind of a weird bookshelf chandelier thing going on there. So maybe in here I do the the reeds growing on it. Do the black. Yeah. So it does cascade over that way too. Okay. So I think it's got to match up on this side then. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay. And the windows. Ooh. I kind of like it showing light through though. Very church. Church. I like these windows better. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Same thing. It kind of allows the moonlight, you know, to come through. Nice. What am I doing? Let's do the walls. The default is already green, though. I'm just now noticing that. The default is like green, but the shapes, the patterns are actually black. And if you go green, it colors everything green. Couldn't really tell in the other light, you know? Oh, I'm digging that one much more actually, because it shows the patterns. Dang it. Okay. I got to change all, all of my 
walls now. Okay. All right. So this matches my um my balcony, the other room. So does this. A big statue. I think we'll go with this guy. Black there. Yeah, we'll do the gothic and then on that one entrance we'll do the um we'll stick with the uh tannic. But yeah, so you got a little bit of vegetation there, a little vegetation there, up there, lots of light. And of course, uh, I think we'll have the same options for flora in here, right? It doesn't change as much because the other one in, in the other room has carpet on it, huh? I feel like maybe I might end up changing my floor because I kind of like the stone too. But no, I don't. I don't know if the this stone goes with the wood. It's cool. I like I like the wood look though. This is more of a tile. This is like a marble. Green would kind of go with the uh, green lining up there it's nice that it has the wood in the annexes hmm it has the wood on the outside which is cool Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Digging it. Okay, so I have to change my freaking walls again, huh? Okay, so... Yeah, you can see the detail better. Doesn't look just like one color. All about the details. So we got everything gothic. And the one entrance is botanical. And same with this side. Everything gothic. One botanical. Sick. That's what I'm talking about. I like how they added furniture in here just to like sue me. Nice little sitting areas. I feel like I need to get some bigger tables, though. This is totally like a meeting area right here, right? Yeah, that's a meeting area. This. I'll put another statue right here. Oh. 
I don't put another horse here though. Or uh, uh Oh my gosh, hippogriff. That's that's what it is, hippogriff. This time we'll have it facing. Maybe we'll put it massive. That way, when you're looking over at it, from a distance, uh, it takes up the whole thing. But I kind of don't like it facing straight on either. Rotate it. Half turn. Push it back as far as possible. Nice. Yeah, see at the angle, it's got like, it's very dynamic. I feel like it needs to be shifted just slightly, right? Because the wings are carrying off to the left now. So if I'm centering or framing it against the uh, back window, like it's right talon is hanging over that column there and its wings are hanging over the back column so yeah i guess the center is off but maybe cause this is center right here maybe shift it just like make it a bit better right there yeah sick Then, just like in the other room, I'm going to put a placeholder right here. Although this might be just open in the future. These chairs I'll leave here just for now. Kind of like them at, a, at an angle like that. But I feel like if you're gonna put these are way on the outside, like again, those aren't centered. Well, I don't know if these like spawn in or something or what, but yeah, centered on the windows. They should be centered on the windows. If you have two there, I feel like yeah, you should have two on this side as well, right? Kind of centered in the same fashion. Yeah. Okay. dropping some frames here. What's going on here? There we go. All right. Yeah, some good lighting, some moonlight coming in. I'm 
very nice. Okay. Lighting's there, lighting's there. Good stuff. Like it. Can I do anything in here? Oh, I can change that. Oh. She doesn't have a face. This is not much difference between those two. That's cool, though. Yeah. Oh, I can? Can I? I can change this? Sure, completely missed on that. Okay. Actually, I kind of like the herbology alcove. Yeah, give it a little greeny, greenery in here. Just this little section. That's cool. Yeah. Now, what is this? This is the whole outside, right? Changes all the interior there. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Digging it. I feel like this wall is a little empty. So we need to get some like wall ornaments and stuff in there. We'll get there though. That means I can change these too then, right? Yeah, I can. Different hallway though. It's not going to be the same thing going through. I think I'll just go with the gothic in here. Yes. Nice. So then we would need some, probably some paintings there some of these empty walls but I think we'll get there eventually oh is that a side wall that I missed here I thought it was a part of the same feel, but yeah, with the gothic, is that okay? Yeah, I did not realize I could change that. Go. It's part of the same wall, part of the same. Okay, so now all those match there. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. My other thing is like rugs, which not sure how much I care. I feel like you need um, furniture in first before you determine where you want your rugs. Herbology 
stations. Okay, wall hangings. The rest of the stuff I need to find out in the field somewhere to be able to change them up. Awesome. I think this is the start of my room. I'm gonna further it along obviously as I go, but first pass, I'm digging it. Digging, digging, digging it. Yes. All right. If you've made it to the end of this video, um, kudos to you because I realize this could be a very um, kind of boring process to watch unless you're very much into the SimCity life and uh, decorating and you're doing the exact same thing I am. Um, if you are, then, you know, uh, fisticas, air high five, virtual high five to you guys because you're my homies. Um, but yeah, I think this is my space now. Awesome, digging it. I might check with Deke to see what the other um, um, atmospheric lighting there is, right? Just to just to know, just to see, right? Um, but this is where I'm at. Digging it. I knew this was going to be a long episode. I knew I was going to spend so much time in here um, changing shit, but I hope at least you guys can appreciate it. And, you know, maybe you've done some of the similar things and we have some similar tastes out there, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. And, you know, if you have any um, suggestions or thoughts on what else I could do. So yeah let me know and we'll go from there either way thanks for watching guys this has been awesome um i'll catch you in the next video so wherever you're at in the world day or night have a good one enjoy and i'll catch you in the next video guys peace